Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Um, the last time I stopped at a provincial nomination program, a brief recap, we were just speaking about how we um, got here through the permanent residence program or the express entry program. Um, and I had mentioned that we received a nomination or a notification of interest from Alberta and I'll just speak briefly about that. I also promised you guys a view of downtown and here it comes. <laughs> just keep watching. Um, so I said we started our journey in November 2016 and this nomination came on March 2019 so it's it had been a long journey honestly um and I we almost gave up at some point it was like this is taking too long and I just needed a break uh, so I had stopped and it was at this time that we received a notification of interest from Alberta. And as I had mentioned, it was just the most exciting time. Like we submitted our um, papers within a week. That's how <laughs> how excited and relieved we were. And after like a month or so... Yeah, uh, I think in June, yeah, early June, we received our um, nomination, which basically means we had 600 points on top of our CRS course. So we knew that the next draw, we were going to receive an ITA. It was so good. And one week later, there was a draw and we received our nomination. I mean, our invitation to apply. And a month later, we submitted our uh, our application. And then now the wait began. <laughs> and in January of 2020, we received our COPR. It was... <laughs> I can't even express like the feeling when we read that email. I was alone at that time before I shared it with my husband, but it was just unbelievable, basically, because we had been waiting for so long. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that's just briefly how we got here. I've been asked to discuss like you know i was told i put a lot of content in one in one of the vid in one video like i need to discuss um, just describe the process so i'm gonna be tackling like just one by one the type of visas and all um i will also today i will speak about just generally how the provincial nomination works and before that we have the cal uh the bow tower in front of us it is one of the most recognizable building in Calgary skyline. Uh, it is at it is at least one of the tallest building outside of Toronto, not just Western Canada. You can see it from almost anywhere in Calgary. And then in front of you is the Calgary Tower. It offers the best view in the city and is a must see for any visitor <laughs> it should be there because there's an observation deck you'll experience spectacular 360 degrees views of the bustling city you will see the rocky mountains from there the foothills and the prairies so yeah must visit um and we do have um the calgary transit so you can see the buses and we also have the metro, which is also part of the Calgary Transit. Uh, and it is owned by the city of Calgary. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so going back to just the provincial nominations. 
this is 19 wait this is uh stevens avenue one of my favorite streets well two this is the first one i will do a walk around there one day uh so i love love stevens avenue um and then there is the second one which is the 17th avenue and it should be com coming up on this video it is just a happening street period that's all you can call it <laughs> yeah okay so back there it is uh, that's the 17th avenue now the provincial nominee na, nominee program the program is for workers who have skills education and work experience to contribute to the economy of a specific province or who want to live in that province and want to become permanent residents eventually. And each province has its own streams and requirements. So you need to know where you want to, to, to stay. And how you will apply depends on which provincial nominee program stream you're applying to. You might need to apply using the paper-based process or by online process through express entry. I remember saying some, some provinces would want you to have an express entry. So in the paper-based one, you just apply to the province or territory for nomination under a non-express entry stream. You just need to meet the eligibility requirements. Um, and once you have been nominated, you submit a paper application for permanent residence to Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada. Citizenship Canada, sorry. Um, you do have to pass a medical exam and get a police check. Um, and then application times for these programs are longer compared to doing, it, doing an application through express entry. And the express entry process is the online one. So there are two ways to apply. One, you can contact the province and apply for a nomination. Or if the province or territory agrees to nominate you, you create an express entry profile uh, or you already have one. And then, yeah, the, the, you can create an express entry profile and show the provinces and territories that you are interested in. So you're able to choose to either choose all the provinces or some provinces or one province, depending on what you want. And then if a province then sends you a notification of interest to your account, you contact them directly, which is what happened with us. The, uh, Alberta sent us a notification of interest and then we applied to their stream. And then after we got our nomination, we, we already had an express entry uh, profile, so we didn't need to do that anymore. Um, well, but in both cases, you must meet the eligibility requirements of the province or territory and then submit an express entry profile and show that you meet, you meet the minimum criteria for express entry. Um, so yeah, I will be discussing instead of, uh, putting just, the, um, like starting with Alberta nominee program, I will Put it in the next video so that we don't drag this one um if you need more information you can let me know and all this information i'm sharing is available at canada.ca you can find all that information there as i had mentioned again i am not an immigration consultant or an immigration lawyer so every information that i'm sharing here is something that i have read for myself um and you can definitely just find it there if you have if you're interested in me discussing something else you can let me know or if you want me to link uh, like to put the links on uh, in this video you can always let me know as well uh, but yeah this is i also I'm not sure if people understand express entry in general, which I can still discuss. Just let me know and I will do it. Uh, but next video, I will be discussing about uh, the, Al the Alberta nominee program since that's what I experienced. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the views of downtown. Downtown is one of my favorite places. Um, and yeah, see you on the next one. Thank you.